Hello, my Zentangle friends. This is Barbara Langston, CZT, Certified Zentangle Teacher, and I hope you're doing great today. Welcome to Not Perfect Zen. And today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to show you how I like to use the Tangle Patterns website. And I'm going to go ahead and this going. This takes me a minute to figure out how to share my screen because I don't do it very often. Okay, so this is the Tangle Patterns website. And first of all, I want to say a thank you to Linda Farmer. She started this website in May of 2010, and she has maintained it ever since. And I use this website on almost a daily basis. And when I decided to do this video, I contacted Linda and asked her permission and make sure she was okay with it. And she plans to review it before I make it public. So let me move this out of the way. Okay, so to begin with, I know I'm on the home page because I can go up here and click. And you see that it comes back to where you see Linda and the announcements here that says join Tangle Patterns. Um, I want to begin by showing you a few things at this top menu. If you go to the about, uh, and I would encourage you to look at all of the menus because there's so much there. But here is a link to how to use this site. Here's a link to frequently asked questions. And I'm not going to go through these because you can read these if you want to. And I'm going to cover several of the things that are on those pages. OK, so uh, first thing I want to begin with, which is the main reason I go to the Tangle Patterns website, and that is to find a pattern that I want to do. You have here, as you can see my mouse going across an alphabetical menu, and that would be the first way to find a pattern. If I knew something started with an A, I could click on the A, and it will bring up all of the patterns that start with A in alphabetical order. Now to look at the step outs and other information about the pattern and who deconstructed it, you can click here where it says how to draw a dolphin. You can click on the thumbnail. And by the way, Linda Farmer draws all of the thumbnails. And you can also click here where it says continue reading this article. So if we click here, then we get to the page that shows us all the information about the Adolfa pattern. Okay, now another way, I'm just going to go back to the home page. Another way that we can find a pattern would be to search for it. So here is your search bar. And let's say I'm looking for the pattern henna drum. So I'm going to type in henna drum and hit enter. And you'll see that henna drum is not the first one that comes up. And that's because this will show the results for any article that mentions henna drum. OK, so I'm going to scroll down a little bit. And here is henna drum. OK. Another way that you can find a pattern, let's go back up to the search. Let's say that I know uh, that I saw a pattern and it was kind of a flower shape. So I'm going to type in flower and enter. And that will bring up any results of patterns that mention the word flower. OK, so like this second one here is not necessarily a flowery pattern, but it mentions flower in the article. OK, so that's just a second way that you can search. 
Um, let's say that you know that the name of the person who deconstructed that pattern, his first name is Tomas, because I'm thinking of Tomas Padros. So I'm going to put T-O-M-A-S in here. And this brings up patterns, as you can see right here, that were done by Tomas Padros. But also keep in mind, as I scroll down, that there are other patterns that were not done by Tomas, but his name is mentioned in that article. Okay, so using the search bar, those are a few ways that you can find a pattern, but be aware of this sidebar on the left. And look, you can search tangles by type. So let's click on that one. And here's channel grids, continuous lines, here's dot grids, free form, just all kinds of options that you have here, including there are two voice guided tangles within here. Okay, so this is a great way. This one says orbs. Let's check that. So each of these will have a shape that includes orbs. So let's go back over here. There's tangles by artist. So the way that these are done is the first name and the first initial of the last name. So I know that this is Adele Bruno, Adele B. Let's click on that one and see what comes up. And so now we know that all of these patterns were done by Adele Bruno. And for instance, before when I was looking for Tomas Padros, his would be T-O-M-A-S-P, would bring up all of his patterns. Okay, so let's click on Trella. And the next thing I wanna show you is, let's say that I really like these patterns by Adele. Another way that you can find all of her patterns is to scroll down to the point just before the bookmarks. And I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so it's easier for you to see. So for this pattern, it was deconstructed on May 29th, 2017, or that was the first time that it was put on this website. This is a link to, again, more patterns by Adele B, Adele Bruno. And also you can see that this is a ribbon, so I can find more ribbons. And this has a spiral in it. So this little bar down here, I use quite often also because it can bring up who published or deconstructed the pattern. It can show you the type and it can show you the shape. So again, there are lots of ways to find your patterns on this side. Let's bring this back down. Okay, another way to find patterns is maybe you're looking for something that came out in 2010. So this is the archives by month. And I especially like to see some of the oldest patterns, the classic patterns. And you can see here, we could go all the way back to May of 2010 and see what were some of the first patterns that were released on this website. Okay. And I hope I'm not going too fast, <laughs> but I don't want this to be a super long video, but I do have a lot of things that I want to show you. Okay, let's go up to this top bar, this header bar that has the little patterns across the top. 
Um, if you click on this, it actually just takes you back to the home page. But you can see when I clicked on that, it changed to some more patterns. If you are interested in one of these patterns, you'll need to write down the name of it and then use the search bar or one of these alphabetical bars to find it. So if I liked Ambler, I could come up here and type in Ambler to find it, okay? Um, I think that's pretty much the, the main ways that I wanted to show you to find the different patterns on this site. Now, let's say I only want to see the patterns that were released by Zentangle headquarters. Then you go all the way to the right on this top menu bar, and you can see here Linda's list of official Tangle patterns. Let's look at that one. And I'm going to make this one a little bigger also. And then I'm going to scroll down. And here's the list of all of the patterns that have been released by Zentangle headquarters. And you will notice that there are some that do not have links. So for example, bumper. And that's because Zentangle has not publicly released the step outs for those patterns. Okay. But I think this is one of them the links that I use the most so that I can find all of the patterns released by Zentangle. And so far there are 173. And I think that's pretty cool. All right, so let's go back up to this top menu bar. Now I've showed you the about. There are book reviews that you can go through. Uh, downloads is a page that will provide templates in case you want to submit a pattern that you have deconstructed. There's a link on how to organize your patterns. Okay, and again, I'm trying to emphasize that there is so much great information on this site. Click here if you want to submit a pattern. Uh, you can click here to subscribe, and that way when Linda releases a new pattern, you get an email. You can support Tangle Patterns, and this is super important because Linda's not paid for what she does, but I like to send a little bit of support every year. You can also support her by uh, purchasing her eBooks. And those are over here in the store. There's ebooks and different languages also. So I would encourage you to go through that list. Um, the next one is tips and tools. And she has the information on music, paper, journals and sketchbooks, pens, related books, shading. So I'm going to click on shading. And you can see here that there are two free tanglepatterns.com's shading mini classes. And I've been through these because I, I do have a shading class that I taught and these were very good information. Okay, so under tips and tools, there's also string ideas. If you click on that one, of course, strings are very important in Zentangle. And if you scroll down a little bit, here is a screenshot of just a lot of cool ideas that you can use. But there are also 250 string patterns. I'm going to click here. And you can also click right here to get to these strings. And as you scroll through this page, you can see that there are lots of great ideas for strings. Another way that you can use this to find strings, um, 
recently I wanted to find a random string, but then I thought, well, what if I did the string for that particular day, which happened to be the 175th day of the year? Then what I did was, whoop, and this one has to be done with quotation marks because you're putting two words in there. I could type in string number 175 with just a space here, string space 175. And that brought up tangle pattern string 175, which is also mentioned in this article. But if I click on it, here's the string. And it really made a fantastic tile. I really enjoyed doing that. Um, Let's say you want a random string. You don't want a certain number. Then let's go over here and there is a true random number generator. Maybe I want something between, well, there are 100 or 250. So let's just let it pick anything between one and 250 and then click generate. And here's your number, 142. So again, I would go back up here using quotation marks. I'm going to put in string 142. Okay, and there's string 142. Now let's go back to just the list of strings. And do note that for the first strings, these are three numbers, okay, 003, 004. So if I wanted to search for string 14, I'm going to put in string 014. So you'll always search for three numbers, okay? And that is mentioned in this and in the Tangle Refresher. But here's string 014, and there you go. Okay, another thing in the tips and tools is tutorials. And she says here that the tutorials link in the pink alphabetic tangle menu bar is the one that you need to use. So let's go here and click tutorials. And each of these articles contain a video tutorial. Okay. And I've learned a lot <laughs> by going through these. It's really a lot of fun. Okay. And then Zentangle storage ideas might be something that you're interested in. And now let's go to the Zentangles menu. What is a Zentangle? If you're new to Zentangle, this is where you want to start on this website. Basics of the Zentangle method, terminology. Again, the list of official tangled patterns. Uh, the fact that a pattern is not always a tangle. And then here's some in Spanish, I believe. Uh, guidelines for creating Zentangle inspired art and products, teaching, and then a history of the CZT seminars and how to find the CZT. And then here is the Zentangle KTT videos. And KTT sound, uh, stands for <laughs> Kitchen Table Tangle videos. And these are released in the Mosaic app, which is only available, available on mobile phones. And uh, if you scroll down, some of these are linked to YouTube and some of these are not, but you can tell by going through here which ones are available in the Mosaic app. Okay, 
Uh, this tells you how to get the Mosaic app. This is new, guest podcasts and videos. Let's click on that. And this is new in June of this year and talks about how Rick and Maria want to start talking more on podcasts and in interviews so that they can continue to share the Zentangle method. And if you haven't listened to these, they're really good. These first two that have been uh, released. And then down here is Zentangle Project Packs. And this one I think is great information. It starts with the first project pack in November of 2017 and goes all the way through March of 2022. And if you click on that, you'll see that it shows you the supplies that are needed. And then it shows you each day of the videos with a little bit of information from each one of the videos. Okay, I'm gonna scroll back up and let's look again at some of the extra things that are in the A to Z menu. There's general, and this will bring up Tangle Refreshers. And if you click on that, she has a string idea. And then you can read through this for lots of good information. And then here's buried treasure from the tangling past. And she brings up patterns that we may have forgotten about that you can try on your tiles. And also there's always a link to another tangle refresher. And let's go back to general. And then there's just general information articles that come up in this also. But uh, also here's getyourtanglepatterns.com tangle guide. Let's click on that. I do have um, one or two of these tangle guides that show you all the patterns that have been released. And these are packed full of information. And I would encourage you to check that out. It's another way to support tanglepatterns.com. Um, let's keep going across here. We've looked at project packs, stories, and these are also great. And there may be different people who have shared their story and these are all listed here. Going back up to the top, we've already looked at strings. We looked at tutorials and we looked at video. And again, each one of these contain some kind of a video. Okay, um, let's go back up to the store. And I want to show you just real quickly the ebooks. And this is how you can get digital downloads from Linda. And that includes the Tangle Guides and a beginner's guide to Zentangle. And excuse me while I scroll down, there are also guides to strings. Okay, so here is a strings guide and this is number one through 50. And then she has these all the way through number 250. All right, so again, I like to know that I'm on the tanglepatterns.com homepage. And when I do, I know that I can see the latest patterns that have been released because I always like to try them. <sighs> okay, so I went through that <laughs> a little bit quickly, but uh, I hope you enjoyed it.
I hope it was helpful. And if you have any questions, let me know and I'll do my best to answer it for you. Have fun with this and let me know what you think. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.